Hey dear Pisces, it's me, the Sunlight Oracle, and I have your reading for the dates of August 16th through the 31st, 2021. Thank you, my friends, for selecting this video of all the videos you could have selected. Please like, subscribe, and share with a friend. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. What have we got here? Let's go bottom first. We get the Eight of Pentacles reversed for my dear Pisces, crossed by the Three of Swords. All right, Pisces. <laughs> we'll talk about how oftentimes uh, we as human beings compartmentalize our lives. We have our work life, we have our love life, we have our friends, our family. <laughs> uh, you know, we have our secret life. But at some point, uh, naturally all of something happens where we realize all of these lives are actually just one life and we've tried to compartmentalize in order to protect ourselves protect our egos but then every once in a while you know reality hits and i feel that a lot of you right now are feeling a bit off in what could be your work life in the life where you get purpose you know driving purpose as a human being because of another human being the three the three of swords is often indicative of heartbreak but I do, you know, that comes in so many different colors, so many different shades. So I just feel like there is someone in your life that's separate from your work life, that's separate from all of the lives, who's come in and kind of compromised the flow and the natural, the natural flow of your, of your life. And you might feel a little bit, I feel when I step into your energy, like disoriented, unfocused, a little bit um, doubtful of myself. And I feel like there, you were, a lot of you were like working towards something and this person came and their, their reaction or whatever they have done, their, their action or reaction really threw a wrench into the progress that you were making in some part of your life. Okay, so whoa, we got thrown back here and that's okay, Pisces. It happens. That's what the tarot is here for. That's what I've always used the tarot for. <laughs> it's kind of making sense of like, okay, cool, some stuff happened and now where do we go? Let's look at the past. Thank you. Mm, the magician. Yeah, I feel like, again, in your little, like your, um, your method of compartmentalizing things, like in one aspect of your life, perhaps in the work life, you were like, oh, I, you know, killing it. <laughs> like, you know, being a sort of a cutting edge person in your industry, in your field, in your purpose. Again, whatever your purpose is, it seems like it was going really well. But again, you can't just have a work life and you can't just have a love life. At some point, the work life becomes the love life and the love life becomes the work life. So what's happened here in the future? The five of swords reversed. I feel like a lot of you are also really accustomed to having conflict in your in your love life, in your friendship life, whatever it is, um, but always having to kind of be the person who cleans up afterward, or at least it feels that way. And I feel that like, honestly, this conflict is no different. So if you want to get out of it, if you want to patch things up with this person, and again, this isn't, I'm not saying you have to, like the cards aren't saying that either. It's just about putting all the options on the table, which is like, it's actually Pisces going to have to be your prerogative. You're actually going to have to be the person to speak up about it and clean it up, <laughs> you know? And again, it comes in reverse. So I feel like some of you are already feeling apprehensive about doing that anyway. And if you feel like you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. But it definitely, I just want to acknowledge that some personal matters have begun to affect professional matters or purpose-driven matters. And now it's like kind of throwing you into a tizzy. It's a bummer, but how do we move forward? You know, it's also human. This, this stuff happens. In your conscious mind, we get the seven of pentacles reversed. And in your unconscious or subconscious, we get the two of rods reversed. Man, this person, I feel like the, the relationship here has really thrown like kind of everything into question. I feel like you're feeling a bit impatient with whatever it is that you want to grow. And subconsciously and unconsciously, you're even tricking your subconscious mind somehow into thinking that, you know, um, moving forward with whatever you're pursuing, whatever you're creating is just like not worth it. It feels like heartbreak has come and just like really rained on your parade. Okay. So I'm going to pull another card, uh, in the, let's go subconscious and unconscious and see like, okay, cool. 
obviously emotions especially for water signs pisces cancer and scorpio you know they they're like a ruling force so how do we make it so our emotions don't rule us as much as they are here you know it's okay to feel emotions obviously but to be victim and dragged by them vict to be a victim of them and to be dragged by them can be purely exhausting so in the subconscious and unconscious mind we get the seven of rods reversed which also indicates to me that some of you are not um, tapping into your support network or your um, other people who might understand what you're going through. It's okay <laughs> to, to ask for help. A good way to sort through emotions, to feel emotions, can be alongside a trusted friend. I would suggest finding someone with a lot of Scorpio or Cancer or Pisces in their chart because again, these water signs tend to understand each other on the emotional vibration. You know, it's, it's, it's like all the water signs are collectively going through similar stuff at the same time, or they have in, in the recent past and fully understand it, fully understand the power of giving space to another. So I just want to say, you know, you don't have to go through this alone, Pisces, and it, it probably is time to start processing some of it. Let's talk about in the conscious mind, we have the page of pentacles, which is cool. So once, listen, once you start talking about this, feeling it and not ignoring it. I already see things in your purpose driven life, in your work life, in your art life, whatever it is, the life that feels a little put into a tizzy. It's like it, it bounces right back. This is a pretty quick fix, not a quick fix, but a pretty lot like simple fix. That's what it is. It's a simple fix. It's learning how to find your people and discuss this. It's okay to, um, find someone and trust someone with information about feelings. It's okay. You, my friend, are the king of rods. So on the, all of these feelings, it, they must be occurring underneath because it seems like as the king of rods, you're still really maintaining a face, a hard shell, um, a very masculine, like ruler type energy that says like, nothing's wrong. <laughs> And I want to say that that could very well be part of the problem is the lack of vulnerability with people in your environment, with people in your life. That's where I'm going back with the seven of rods. And though it's reversed, you can take a look at this, of this person keeping out everyone with the one of the rods, pushing them away, saying, get away from me. It's been a very popular card uh, this month on my YouTube channel. But the king of rods, my friend, I, I feel like this reading is also kind of calling you out for that a little bit. like in in trying to pretend like your heart's not broken or like your lives aren't converging all at once or that you haven't been compartmentalizing so it's a little bit of tough love for you here but i think your environment will pull a card for your environmental influence might explain more about that might be like a professional reason you know i feel like it's unprofessional to be feelings have feelings hmm in your environment, I feel like you are surrounded by a lot of people who are typically conservative. I mean, I don't mean that necessarily in the political way, though it could be. It's more in the way of like conservative with their emotions. You don't feel like you have anyone who would fully understand because people play their, hold their cards close to their chest. No one's really been out there letting their freak flag fly, letting you know that they're safe to trust. So I'm going to pull another one because I just know that there's someone there for you. And I don't know who they are the ace of swords they're probably in an unlikely spot they're probably not at your work life they're probably not someone who was in your love life they might not even be like your bff it could be someone again who's a neutral party obviously therapy is a privilege and if you have the ability to afford it by all means i direct a lot of my clients to mental health professionals but i'm also not naive enough to know that it is expensive to do that and not everyone has access to it so if you don't have access to it my friends um the a place to turn from experience would be tarot and you're already doing that through me but have you considered ways in which you could do tarot um using your own intuition and learning how to work through your own feelings other affordable and accessible means of expressing the self and getting perspective is journaling <laughs> and i'm a huge fan of journaling and also one other one that i'll give you is lots of free meditation and yoga exists on the internet and it's a really good way to get in your body and work through your emotions and you don't have to really disclose them to anyone you just have to disclose them honestly to yourself so those are a lot of options for you, my friends, but I do feel that you're going to have to start looking outward and looking toward in places that you haven't before 
If you have any other suggestions, Pisces, leave them in the comments, you know? I'd love to receive some info from y'all too. Hopes and fears, strength. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you know, I think at some point that you're gonna have to break, you know, at some point that this information, these feelings are gonna have to go somewhere. They can't stay within you. You know, it's like shaking up a bottle of soda, you know, and then you turn off the top, you pull off the top and it totally explodes. That's kind of the energy you're playing with here, Pisces. So on one hand, you're like, I hope I can keep it all in. And then on the other hand, you're like, I'm afraid that if I keep it all in, I'm gonna go and explode, you know? So something to think about that strength, this is just, um, Aquarius had a similar sort of theme with strength in that strength is admirable and it's called for in, in so many times in our life, but it can also, you know, when we become too strong, we can become stubborn and when we become stubborn, we have blind spots and when we have blind spots, we end up, you know, hurting more in the long run. So something to think about. And let's talk about solution. We've talked about a lot of solutions, but this is the card that I think you can kind of envision as you go out into the world after this reading. The Nine of Rods. My friends, you're going through it, you're going up and down, and I feel like you're just feeling a bit battered, a bit tired. But please know that like all of this endurance, like all of this life experience that you're, you've already acquired, I don't even feel like this is the first time that this has happened. <laughs> you might be feeling kind of like triggered because like there was a similar circumstance that happened to you, I don't know, like five to seven years ago is what I'm hearing. But it feels like you've already proven to yourself that like you are a strong individual, that you do have endurance, that you can, you know, fight a lot of your battles alone. And I just really wanna encourage you Pisces to lean into your Piscean nature a bit more, lean into your feelings feelings a bit more and and begin to lead a gentler life that isn't so based on keeping it all inside. You don't have to keep it all inside. This is the Sunlight Oracle deck, my friends. I designed this deck. I made a hundred of them. There are four left ever. I'm trying to sell them out before I release my new deck. And if you like it, if you like, you know, handmade art, if you like original tarot decks, this is like the last opportunity to own one from me your favorite small YouTuber. So let's go ahead, we got two cards for you Pisces, if you're still here. We get honesty and we get longing. Interesting, I've seen these for a couple of other signs. Okay, I feel like the longing definitely is tied up in the feelings that aren't being honestly expressed. Longing, right, has a tinge of desperation to it. I feel like there are, you know, something within that heartbreak, something within the person's reaction or action toward or against you um, really has you spun in a way that has you feeling a bit desperate. But that desperation is coming from a place of not looking at this um, situation honestly and objectively, which is where, again, I wanna pull you back to the Ace of Swords and remind you that you would benefit from finding a neutral party to speak about these things with and to really eradicate the healing that I think you've tried to do in the past but didn't quite complete and now the time has come to complete it. It's time to bring it full circle. Okay, I really appreciate you being here, Pisces. And if you wanna look more toward the future, we have um, a relationship reading for August, but also in the next 10 days or so, I'll be releasing a relationship reading for September. But until then, my dear Pisces friends, have a great day.